Floor 7 is just around the corner, and we have had word of tons of leaks, definitive proof of two new enchantments, and three new items. Today, we will go over everything you need to buy, upgrade, and level up to prepare for Floor 7. I'm only 9,000 subscribers from YouTube rank, so if you could help me out by clicking that subscribe button, I'll keep uploading Skyblock guides, tips, and videos every single day. It only takes a few seconds, but really changes my life. Also, I have a Discord server, join it, follow all the links in the description. Okay, enough plugs, let's get into new items first. Let's start off with the brand new two confirmed enchants coming to Hypixel Skyblock. As you can see, this is Jaya Varmans, an admin of the server's Skyly. So basically we can see it's inventory, weapons, talismans, all of that stuff. And if we look at his inventory, we can see this enchantment book. And when I hover over it, it gives us two enchantments, One for All and Soul Eater. One for All seems extremely powerful as it says it removes all other enchantments, but it increases the weapon's overall stats by 300%. Now, this is at level 1, and of course the percentage here is subject to change because it's not technically released, but it's in his inventory, so it's coded into the game. And if it really does give us 300% extra stats, it says weapon stats, so this is applied to sword. You could combine something like the Flower of Truth, which gives 1200 or 1300 uh, strength, and make it give, you know, 2600, 3900, or even more if it's a higher level enchantment strength. Combine that with a Baby Yeti, and you'll be looking at thousands of strength and thousands of defense added for free. So overall, this enchantment looks extremely broken, and once we're able to get it, I would suggest stockpiling these as soon as you can, because I assume the price will skyrocket upon release. Now the next one is actually kind of bad. It's Soul Eater, and it says your weapon gains 1% of the strength of your last monster kill, and it applies to your next hit. Well, we can already assume that this is not really going to be a good enchantment, and we can assume it probably goes up to 5% if you get Soul Eater 5. The fact that this enchantment will vary so much doesn't make it really seem like the best ultimate enchantment to put on a sword. So I would recommend probably skipping this one. It's probably going to be much more common than one for all. So I would say it's safe to assume to try and use one for all on certain weapons where it's good. And kind of just ignore Soul Eater altogether. Now these next three are actually posted on the Skyblock wiki but aren't released in the game. The first one is the Wither Goggles. And this is an upgrade to the current Dark and Shadow Goggles in the game. Then we also have the Mender Crown, which is released uh, coming soon, it says. So we can assume that it's probably going to be Floor 4 or Floor 7. This is because we got items on Floor 1 and Floor 4, so it would only make sense to be get more items on Floor 7. Now the last one doesn't actually show up on the wiki, but it's the Steel Chestplate. We can assume this is an upgrade to the Heavy Chestplate and the Metal Chestplate, which is Floor 1 and Floor 4 for tanks. So all of these items are kind of upgrades to the basic gear that we've gotten in dungeons for Floor 1 and Floor 4. So whether these come out in Floor 7 or not, we're not sure, but it's safe to assume that there's a strong chance that they will be added in for Floor 7, especially since our gear has kind of been getting weak and we need some better items. Alright, now let's go over some items you need to purchase, alright, and the first one is going to be a Wither Skeleton Pet. Now I'm going to say I've been bashing Wither Skeleton Pet for months, and it's a pretty garbage pet because it's just a worse version of the Tiger Pet. The Wither Skeleton does more damage over the course of 3 seconds, the Tiger does more damage every hit, so... Overall, Tiger's better, however, there's one thing that we can't argue about, and that's that this pet does up to 50% more damage to Wither Mobs. Now, if I go and show you the... We can see that the name of the boss is a Young Wither, and the Floor 8 is a Wither Soldier, Floor 9 is whatever an Elementist is, and then Floor 10 is the Wither Lord. So it looks like the Floor 7, 8, and 10 boss are confirmed to be Wither enemies. This means that we'll be dealing up to 50% extra damage if we're using this. Now, I'm not sure if this will outclass Dragon Pet, but I think it might. So, I think it's safe to assume that uh, everyone needs to get a Wither Pet. So, if you already have one, good job. If you don't have one, I was just getting one before other people see this video and the price starts to go up for them. However, they're not too difficult to craft. If we look, I believe it's under the Coal Collection here. Yeah, it's only, what, eight, 8 Enchanted Coal Blocks, so it's not going to be too expensive. You can even just set down minions and mine needs if the price gets too ridiculous for you to buy. But, overall, I think everyone needs to grab a Wither Pet. Next up is kind of the same thing, and this is going to be the Wither Artifact. Now, this is a special talisman you can get from the Dark Auction for roughly 10 million coins, or you could buy it in the Auction House for a little over 10 million coins, and it reduces the damage taken from Withers by 20%. It's also an epic talisman, so it gives good stats anyways. If you don't have this talisman already, you're going to want to get it really quick, because again, the boss is a Wither, so it'll be dealing damage to you from a Wither Mob, meaning the damage you'll take from this boss is going to be reduced by 20% if you have this Talisman. That's a lot of damage reduction for just one Talisman. 
and I think it's definitely worth picking it up along with the Wither Skeleton. Now, the next thing you're going to want to do is start saving your essence. Try not to spend any more from once you see this video. All of the essence, I'm talking Wither, Gold, Undead, all of them that you possibly can, save them. Since we're going to be getting new items, I believe there's going to be a new cleaver that could outclass some of our new weapons. And you're going to want gold essence for that, along with your Midas staff if you own one. And you're going to want to save all your essence for new things that come out, since obviously we're going to have some great loot from the dungeon chests, and we don't know what that loot's going to be yet. It could be the new best armor, the new best weapons. We have no idea, but you're going to want to get that armor and weapons as high of a level as possible. So I would say it's safe to assume that you should start saving your essence right now, just in case we get some new items that will be super powerful. Now, this next one is most important for the healer class, but I recommend everyone gets it, and that's the Florid Zombie Sword. This is the upgrade to the Ornate Zombie Sword and the regular Zombie Sword. It gives slightly better healing and a slightly higher range for healing your allies, but most importantly, as a healer, you get two additional charges. This means you can heal your teammates all when you're grouped up, for example, by the Terracottas in Floor 6, and it'll overall just give you a lot more ability to heal your teammates and yourself while in dungeons. Combine this with my Mender Fedora strat and you'll be able to be doing a lot of healing to your allies and yourself. Next up is something a little bit more obvious, but just in case you haven't done it already, apply hot potato books to your armor. This is critical for survival because it increases the health and defense of your armor. And these hot potato books actually get uh, multiplied by your catacombs level because if we take a look at the catacombs skill, it increases the stats of dungeon items by a certain percentage based on your catacombs levels. Right now I get a little over twice the amount of stats that most people would get if they're like level 1 or 2. So the higher your catacombs level, the more hot potato books even affect. So I would also recommend, of course, getting your catacombs level to a high enough level that you're going to be able to survive. Otherwise, you're going to have to use tankier armor and you're going to do less damage and people aren't going to want you on your team. So keep grinding. And for the last thing, I would strongly recommend at least one person in your main party gets either an overflux or the brand new plasma flux. The plasma flux is a slightly stronger version of the overflux that's able to be crafted with the plasmid nucleus four stacks of enchanted obsidian and i believe that's 72 gold teeth it's a very expensive craft but it gives you a lot of increased life regeneration and mana regeneration this is critical for things like healers tanks and mages to have berserkers well you get some damage but that's about it since your life seal is able to heal you but that's really all i have for today make sure to do all of these things if you want the best chance to survive floor seven Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, I'll ask one last time. And yes, pay attention. You, right there. Pay attention. Subscribe. Do it. Alright, have a good day. Take care.